for the dogs. We have the pest control people here. Home team. Love them. Um, isn't he cute? Isn't he adorable? Guys, this is what we're making today. I'm going to show you how. Come on in. Say hello, where you're from, and what the weather's like. Let's see if I can find myself. Am I even live? Did I even press the live button? <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know. Don't even know. Hold up. Oh, there we go. There we go. Hold on. Let's bring her up. There we go. Her coming up. I'm gonna put him down. Her down. Whoever. Um. But I made a couple, and they sold like hotcakes. And the favorite color was the purple and the lime green. I made black and red, I made black, I made solid purple, I made solid green. This was the big seller, so I was like, okay, <laughs> we're gonna do it. Hi, Teresa. Hello, Barbara. Hi, Stacy. Come on in. Diana. Hello, Diana from uh, New Hampshire. It's cloudy and humid. That's the way it is everywhere. <laughs> Hi, Tony. Hello, well, welcome. Um, if you're new to my videos, hi, my name is Amy Rose with Amy Rose Craft Studio, and I like to have fun. I like to wreath and craft and do anything and everything. So I'm going to show you. It's, um, it's a lot of fun. It takes not a lot of mesh. I do not use a full roll of mesh. Take two. I do not use a full roll of mesh when making one so you can make a ton especially if you're doing two colors you can make a lot of them so um you'll need mesh um these are the tinsel ties oh, i looked guys and um craft outlet is out um hobby lobby may have some michael's may have some i haven't been to either one in a very long time however i do know do i have any hold please let me see what I used last year. Let me see if I have any more. I don't think I do. But the ones that I used last year were like this, but they had little bumps on them. If you've ever seen those, they're like little bumpies on them. And those are cute for spider legs too. That's what I used last year until I found these. And I'm like, oh, those are perfect. They're, they're, they're hairy and creepy, and, but it's a cute spider. <laughs> a whole thing of eyeball. You can get them at Dollar Tree. They're the plastic eyes. I found two. It just happened to be, I have a whole bag of like googly eyes and everything. All I did was paint them black and put a black glitter on them. That's all I did. I didn't want to show like the human pupil. That's just way too creepy for me. Unless you want creepy, then go ahead and do that. Let me bring you down to the table so that we can go ahead and get started. Let me bring you down, down, down. Close your eyes in three, two, one. Bringing you down. Look at that mess. Look at this mess at this table. Yeah. Let me turn on the light. Turn on the light. There we go. <laughs> so I'm going to stick with purple and green because uh, that's what my customers love. So, but you could do anything and you can do three color combination. You can do all the colors. You could do black, purple, um, and uh, orange and green. Completely up to you. Hello, hello. Thank you so much for sharing. I really, really, really appreciate it. I said the S word. I shouldn't have. Mary, how you doing? <laughs> so that one is on a four inch styrofoam. No, that one's on a five. That one's on a five. This is a four inch half styrofoam. I uh, painted it and glittered it for a center that I never used it for. I'm telling you now, you don't have to paint um, the styrofoam. You can, it's up to you. You really won't see it, but I already had this, so I'm gonna use it. Cause I'm not gonna use this as a center for anything. I was gonna use it for the Star Trek 
um, flower that I did on Star Wars Day, but I didn't, so I'm going to use this for my my little spider. Um, but you just paint it a solid. It has glitter on it because that's what I was going to use. But um, just paint it, paint it green, paint it purple, paint it black. It's up to you. Or leave it the way it is. I didn't paint the other one. And when we're done, I'll put it side by side. You won't be able to tell. And then I cut a piece of felt and I hot glued it to the bottom. Okay? So that way, if it's sitting on somebody's table, I'll show you. Um, you could... You can put a hook and you can hang it on their wall. A lot of people use those for Halloween trees. The, the possibilities are endless when it comes to these. They're so cute and they're fun. So this is a four inch styrofoam. Now, obviously the bigger styrofoam, the bigger the spider is gonna become. I also have three inch balls, you can use those, but just make sure it's a half so you get that dome look. Then we're going to be using a whole bunch. I don't want to say a whole bunch. We're going to be use, using floral pins. Now, floral pins you can get from Hobby Lobby, Michaels. Walmart used to carry them. They don't carry them anymore. Boo! But that's all they are. They're floral pins, okay? So that's where we're going to attach them in. And you don't need glue, guys. You don't need glue. Let's go ahead and get started. I rolled up all my mesh. Let me go ahead and show you. I was at the end anyways because these weren't full rolls. Like I said, I don't use a full roll of mesh when doing these. Super simple. And if you're using four or three colors, you know, that it would be even better. So you just cut them at 10 inches. I, this is the, um, hold on. I use this and I've never had a problem <clears throat> either on the smooth or the bumpy. It's the apple barrel from um, Walmart. Um, it's never eaten the styrofoam. So I use this. I don't use fancy paint. Never use fancy. I don't use fancy paint. That's what I use to paint with my, um, uh, whatchamacallits, my rails, my signs. And that's what I that's what I do. That's the ones I use. Hi, Donna. How are you? <clears throat> so these are all cut at 10 by 10. And you're just going to do a roll. You're just going to make a curl. Okay? That's all you're going to do. If you have issues curling and you're new to my um, videos, this is a great day in the neighborhood for you. Because if you have the inside of your mesh rollers, which we are the mesh rolls, like we all do, you're going to, these also, if you cut them in half and wrap them in oh, the twine, whoa, if you wrap them in the twine, they'll make good stems for pumpkins too. Just thought of that right now. So if you cut them in half, don't get rid of these, you know? I don't get rid of a lot of stuff. Hi, Peg, how are you? Um, cut them in half, wrap them, or don't even cut them in half. Wrap it and see how long you need for your pumpkin stems. And then you can um, either uh, zip tie it or hot glue it to your boards or whatever. So, but that's not what we're doing. <laughs> that just thought came to my mind and I had to bleh, bring it out. If you have problems with curls, and then being the same size or then not rolling like you want them to take your roll now this is automatically gonna roll because this is at the end of the mesh and you know how they always curl you take it to the very edge like I'm doing right now and you're gonna hold it with both hands and then just roll okay then you're gonna hold it in the middle not too much where you can't pull the center out but there you go you got your roll super simple guys super simple and then I made a whole bunch so that way we weren't here all night you watching me roll mesh and putting it into my styrofoam ball hello Donna hi Nadine yep that's the paint Peg how you doing all right 
So what I do is I take my floral pins and they're normally flared out a little bit. I just push them together just a little. You really don't have to. I'm going to take my roll, okay? I'm going to put my floral pin. I'm going to make sure that the seam is at the bottom. I'm going to pinch it in the middle. Take my floral pin. Put it in the middle-ish. It really doesn't matter, guys. You're not going to see it. And I'm going to put it right into the styrofoam. Okay? Hard, right? And I'm going to continue to do that. Oy. I'm going to continue to do that. Boop. Just take my floral pin right through the center. Now here, because I want to make sure that that's covered up a little, I'm going to put it the opposite way. Here, let me just... Let me show you from the side. I'm gonna put it in that way, okay? So you're building it up. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And I tell you, they're fun. Kids see them and they're like, oh, that's so cute. And I'll make, if I make smaller ones, um, I'll put them on a headband. Kids love that, especially the little girls. And see, I'm just alternating back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Hi, Connie, how are you? Caraville, Texas. I'm in San Antonio, Texas. That's all we're doing. I think I may have, I have a whole pile over here. I think <laughs> I may have cut too many, but like I said, It will be, let me do it this way so that way you can see. So it's going up and down, so I'm gonna do it side to side, okay? And put it on in. If you wanted to, you could hit it with a little bit. If you have a glue pot, you could dip this in the hot glue. Um, but once they're in there, they're in there. All right, where am I going? So I got my green. So see, this is this way, so I'm gonna go in this way. Sorry, you got the top of my head. And put it in that way. See? Just fun. This is really, and if you have um, kids and under adult supervision, because these are, these are sharp, these pins, you know, this is a great, great little project to do with kids. And if you didn't want to use the floral pins, um, maybe use, I don't want to say hot glue, because floral pins are really are the best when making these, because they just keep everything together. Um, but just watch them. It's just a lot of fun. Julia, how are you? Hi, Connie. Late, but you're here, Deb. That's okay. That's okay. We were just starting. Awesome, no rain. Sweet. Marla, hello, love. How are you? Dan is with the bug guy. Um, we were talking about yesterday how <laughs> we had an ant situation. Well, the ants are going to be no more. <laughs> Our bug guy is here. Hi, Laura, how are you? I miss you, Julia. I miss all my peeps from Craft Outlet. Craft Outlet. <laughs> Crafter's Convention. Mm -mm. Crafter's Convention. It wasn't cancer. I forgot what the name of the mask was called. If he comes in here, he'll be able to tell you. Um, I can't remember what they stated it was. I know I'm a terrible person. But that, I kind of like blocked out of my brain because that was a really, really scary time. Hi, Shauna. Wake me up with a shiver. Oh, <sighs> well, I may have done the nicotine, but sugar, that's a, <laughs> that's completely different. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna put one more over here and I'm gonna show you then what I do at the bottom. Because I'm doing 
this way and this way just to make sure that you can't see any of the pins. On the bottom, I want to make sure that they're all going the same way. And so that way, if they want it on the table, it will sit nicely and it won't be all, you know, this won't be sticking out where, you know, mesh will form to um, whatever you do with it. However, <laughs> if it doesn't sit the first time, they may be like, uh, no, <laughs> it needs to sit nicely. But then again, you have the legs. So that's always a plus. Okay, so now around the bottom, oh, this one needs one more really quickly right up here. There we go, okay. So you can see that's really full, really, really full, okay? So now around the bottom, you can still see the styrofoam. This is where I'm gonna go in and just put them all, let me show you. Obviously, I need to show you. I'm gonna put them all sideways. I'm not gonna put them up and down like this. I'm gonna put them all sideways. So that way you have a nice bottom. That didn't sound right at all. You gotta have a nice tush. <laughs> I got these floral pins from Amazon. So they were fairly cheap because bulk, hello. Okay, see? So now they're gonna be layering. They're just doing their own thing. I'm not forcing them any which direction. They just naturally lay the way they, they need to. Hi, Tisha, how are you, babe? Sugar dumpling. <laughs> oh, you're talking to Julie, fine. Don't call me sugar dumpling. That's fine. I'm kidding. <laughs> Although I do look like a sugar dumpling right now. <laughs> Hi, Shirley. How are you? Yay, you got rain. Yeah, we just want it to rain. Don't spit on us anymore. We just want rain. Is that too much to ask? Honestly. We need some rain. I may have just cut enough of these. See, right in there, if you can see, I'm just putting it in. I know it's hard to see. Make sure that I'm angling so that way I'm not getting the bottom. Wait till you see what I do for Christmas. <laughs> I think it's fun. Well, I like my own designs anyways. So see that went through. You can see that right there. You pull it out and then you're going to angle it up. Okay. So that way there's nothing there now. And that's what's great about the felt. It's very forgiving. It's like it seals itself in its own little hole. So what you guys been up to today? What you all been up to? I was working. I was working. It's still... <laughs> Sugar plum. <laughs> I like that. We can do that. The, the messages, you know, it's very, it's not, um, it's very light when you're responding to somebody else. So I'm just like reading it like you're talking to me. And then I look up and it's like, oh, they're not talking to me. Okay, I'm going to do one more green right there. And I got two more purple right here. So I'm going to stick them somewhere. And I'm not going to tell you how much mesh to use because honestly, um, it all depends on, you know, the way you're putting them in, how many rolls you're using, how many colors are you using one. So that's why it's a little difficult for me to tell you. 
but I can tell you when making one, you're not use, gonna use a full roll. And that's even if you have um, just one color. Because they're cut at 10 inches and they fill out super fast, especially if you're doing just a four inch. I'm just going around trying to see. Okay, so that looks pretty good. I have one lonely one. Let me see if I can stick you somewhere. Can I stick you somewhere? No, I think we're good. Yeah, you're really full. Okay, well, I'll put you for the next project. I know, it's okay. You'll be in the next one. And if you do see frays, completely fine. Just clip them off. It's mesh, it's gonna fray, but I think it's cute for the spider itself. It just uh, gives character. Okay, so that's what we have. Let me let out my cat really quick. There you go. He goes scratching on the door and he wants the outside of the room. So it kind of looks like a clown wig right now. <laughs> so see, that's not, it's still poofy, but it's gonna lay, it's gonna lay better. Um, you know, the weight of, every, of everything will just let it sit just a little bit nicer. Okay. Let me seal this before I decide to drop this and then it goes everywhere. I'm going to put you in here for right now. Okay. So now I take, now you can even use pipe cleaners, just regular pipe cleaners. And if you want to, you can twist them together to make them a little bit thicker. Or they have the ones that have their the black or whatever color. And they have those little bumps in them. I don't know what they are. But they have little bumps. They're like, they're this size. They're just a little thicker in parts. Those make cute legs too. I happen to have these black tinsel. And I did look at um, Craft Outlet. They don't have any more. I'm sorry. Unless instead of black legs, they have purple, orange. I believe they have green. And I know they have red. So if you want the legs to be like you have this color, but you want orange legs, that would be cute too. How long does it take? This? Um, how long? I got in at 4.30 if I wasn't talking. Um, the spider, I think, the other one that I did today, it didn't take me that long at all. I want to say maybe 30 minutes, not even, not even. Because I keep talking and talk and talk and talk and talk and talk and talk. Sheila, hello. Oh no. Talk about hip pain. I have hip pain today. Okay, so these are 12 inches. Now for the bigger ones, um, you may need to um, twist. Well, that's what I did with the big one. I twist tied both uh, two of them together and just wrapped them to get longer legs on this one because it's a little bit short, a little smaller. I just fold it in half. Sorry, guys. Thank you. Have a good one. Thank you. <laughs> Love him. Yay! The ants are gone. <laughs> I and then. You fold it in half and you make it look like that spider, the spider leg. And then all I do, let me get some glue. What am I doing? On these, I'll take a little bit of hot glue and I'll put it in there. So I just want to see where I want to go. Now the legs themselves, I want them a little bit farther down on the body. So that looks good. So I'm going to take that, take some glue. And just literally push it into the styrofoam. That's all you're doing. Okay. You can hear it. And if you wanted to, you could bend up the little sides so it looks like the little feet. I don't know if you can see that. A man said he has not seen a yard as infested with fire ants like ours in a long time. What? Yeah. How did that happen? They like our yard. Oh, that creeps said, me out. He said, don't worry, they're already dead. But he treated for spiders, roaches, and ants. 
and he charged tax. Jeez. If you don't know what tax is, it's a system that goes in the house and they push uh, like a powder mixture and it goes inside the walls. I'm so glad. He does have good cologne. You are absolutely right. I can smell it now. It's a weird thing to say, but like you, <laughs> he I smell like good, I guys. To, I had to acknowledge it. You smell good. So. I did see your witch, Mary. It's fabulous. Oh, thanks. I appreciate that. The bad part is he didn't tell me what kind of cologne he wears. Oh, he didn't? <laughs> no, I'd buy it. You don't buy cologne, a rare cologne. Dude, if it makes me smell like that guy. <laughs> We're talking about our pest control person, guys. He had the best cologne on today. It was fabulous. You would never know. He worked all day out in the sun. Yeah. I wouldn't know they'd be sweaty. So I'm just putting them in. So I'm going to... On this one, I'm going to put up the feet a little. Can you see that? That looks so cute. And I like it. Like, one's up, one's was down. This, was this it? What, did he hug you? No. What are you doing? I sprayed bod. No. No? It's not like that? No. Oh, can you smell it from over there? Yeah. No, I can. Oof. Go back. Aww. Is that the gold? No, it's whatever Ricky has. <laughs> <laughs> that man smelled good. <laughs> smelled good. <laughs> Even Dan had to acknowledge. So all I'm doing is lifting up and poking right in the styrofoam ball. Okay? And then just flipping up my little my little feet. Thank you! I tell you, these are they're adorable and they're eye-catching. You can also put these in a wreath. And these make a really cute centerpiece. Like I said, you know, um, you could buy one from me and then just put picks in and just build off of it. Well, whatever Danny sprayed, whoa. So I'm just, obviously, spiders have eight legs. I try to space them out accordingly. However, you know, if, if one is a little too close to the other one, that's okay. Because you can always move it around. Okay, now I'm gonna go to the other side. I'm just gonna let that cool and then we're gonna mess with the legs a little. So I'm gonna go with the other side and I'm gonna to try to go across. That doesn't always happen. Hi, Cecile. Evelyn, how you doing? Oh, you're very welcome, Mary. These are just fun. It just takes a little bit of glue because this is, it's going to attach to all that um, mesh and that foam in there. And I'm only just, I'm just poking it in just a little bit. And then I'm maybe not even an inch, like half an inch. You don't need to do the little feet, but that's completely up to you. And like I said, even, look, 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 if you have black pipe cleaners, you get that same effect. Wrap two together, make it a little bit thicker. It's the same thing. I just happen to have these. Or if you have, ha, 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 if you have these from Dollar Tree, spray paint them black and use those or purple or whatever you want to spray paint them at. Let your imagination go wild. I just wanted something small that was on my table. I do my little um, hair bows when I go to shows. I miss shows. I miss shows so bad. I love people. Um, and I wanted something else. I have another thing that I need to show you um, too, but it can't, it's, not on this live. We'll do it on another live. <laughs> See, if that's too close together, just move this one. As soon as they're done cooling, you can move the legs around. It's okay. It's okay. Hi, Dorothy. How are you? Yes, you do. They're adorable. They're so much fun. And if they're, if you have them on like on a bookshelf or if somebody has a fireplace, this is something that they can put on their fireplace or bookshelf just as a little decoration. 
you know, and especially a teacher's desk. I know we're going to be virtual learning up until se uh, September 17th, but how cute would this be on a teacher's desk? Come on. Kindergarten, little teacher's desk, a uh, little teacher, a <laughs> teacher's desk. Yes. Yes. with this one this one isn't as fluffy so I want to use another one I need fluffy legs okay last one I'm just pulling up my mesh going down in and pushing it through that styrofoam ball well just a little bit I already have the um, glue on it if the glue is going to be surrounded by the mesh. So there we go. So now I'm just going to move these because they're already cool. These should be cool. So one can go up, one can be down. There we go. Now, when I'm putting in the legs, I always, <laughs> I always have one area that's uh, wider than the back, and that's perfectly fine because the wider, the wider part is where I put my eyeballs. This is where it becomes fun. Well, this is already fun, but I will take a pipe cleaner and I'm gonna cut it in half. Okay. Now these are little white styrofoam balls because I didn't have any more black. Um, but these I painted black and put the glitter on them just like the other ones. They're a little bit smaller. And right where I poked the hole to put it on the stick to dry, I'm going to put a little bit of glue there. Whoop, that's a lot of glue. And put my pipe cleaner right through. Okay. Swish it around a little. Make sure it has some contact. Lay that down. Don't throw these away. You can use them again. Do the same thing. Put a little hot glue right there. Put my pipe cleaner. Swirl it. Swirly whirly. Swirly whirly. Let those cool. I'm not going to touch them right now. Don't touch them when they're cooling. If you touch them while they're cooling, while they're cooling you'll just have a mess on your hands. So I don't touch them. I'm going to go ahead and put these back. I'm going to put this in the trash over here. I'm going to put, um, well, the hot glue I'll need. I'm going to put my scissors away, do a little cleanup, let it cool. Don't mess with it. It doesn't need to be messed with right now. Let them cool. Let them cool. Now you may want bigger and you may want more eyeballs. I was thinking about maybe doing two more sets so it looks like a set of, of um, three with six eyeballs. That would be cute. So now all I'm going to do is take the bottom and I'm going to curl it on each other because this, this is a little bit thicker than this is. So I'm not going to have the power to force this through the styrofoam. For one, um, it's bendy <laughs> of course it's bendy it's a uh whatchamacallit it's a pipe cleaner but i mean it's a soft it's not a thick wire so i'll fold it make a little little pocket okay so i'm gonna put my glue right there and i'm gonna put it right into the mesh like i did um uh, my legs so I'm just going to add a little bit of glue. Does not need to be a lot. I'm going to pull it back. I want to see where my eyes, where my eyeballs want to be. And you can move them once you're done. And if you're having problems, bring it all the way down. Because once again, this is only like thin wire in these pipe cleaners. Take your a pair of scissors or I love my... Um, the, what are these called, needle nose pliers, and push it all the way down. Mm, that didn't work. 
Hold on. Oh, I didn't have enough glue on there. Was there hardly any glue? <laughs> Put a lot more glue on than what I did. I'm still afraid of hot glue, guys. <laughs> Clearly. Okay. I'm going to open her up. Put her down. There we go. Yes, ma'am. Or if you wanted to do the other eyeballs, um, you maybe put some lashes on there. Sorry, guys. I need to see what I'm doing. Because clearly I didn't have enough <laughs> glue. I was like, why isn't this working? There we go. Nice bit of glue. Push it up. Set her down in there. See what I'm doing? I'm, pu I'm putting it all the way down in, and I'm just gonna take my pliers just to make sure that it's adhering to that mesh. Now I can move it if I want. So I am going to, oh my gosh, guys, I need to leave it alone. It needs to cool, right? Before I start messing with the eyes. So I'm gonna put my hot glue gun over here I'm going to unplug it. I'm going to do some other stuff while that cools. <laughs> and I got to stop messing with it because I want to mess with it because it looks so cute. Little beady eyes. <laughs> Guys, that's it. That's really, that's it. That's it. If you're, um, if you're not a fan of Halloween, Make this all red and make a crab. I'm missing comments. I'm so sorry. I did. I burned myself last week. <laughs> I'm a little afraid of glue. <laughs> Hi, Marianne. Hello, hello, everybody that came on. And I was uh, talking and crafting and not looking at. Hi, Beverly. Yep, you sure could. Absolutely. Now, yeah, that's good. Oh, I put it all away. <laughs> I put it all away. Now, for a hanger, because they'll like to hang it like this. Let's say this is the wall, and it's like coming down the wall or coming up the wall or whatever. I will take, I'm going to fold this in half. And I'm actually, I have my hot glue already. I'm going to put this in here. I'm gonna hit it with hot glue and they have something to hang, okay? So they can hang it um, on their door. They can hang it on the classroom door, wherever, okay? Let me put, let me hit it with some hot glue while I'm here. It's still hot. All I'm doing is sticking some hot glue. That's all I'm doing. Okay, I'm gonna let that cool. So now you have a hanger. So if they decide they don't want this on their on their um, Halloween tree, they can hang it on their wall by the Halloween tree. Um, like I said, the classroom door, the pantry door. It's really cute. Um, you know, wherever, on their front door if they wanted to. Cleaning up a little, letting that cool. So when they hang it now, I have it on the side. So it's gonna hang a little cockeyed. I like a little cockeyed. Thank you. Let me bring, bring Big Brother over. Well, it's actually the same size. This is actually a four inch. Hold on. Whoa. This is, yeah, that's a four inch. That's a four inch half ball. Oh no, you can, yeah, it is bigger. It's bigger circumference. <laughs> and these are bigger eyeballs. See, and you can pick it up. Nothing's gonna fall out. 
well, they can't mandle, manhandle it, obviously, but it'd be cute. It's cute for little tables. It's just a, it's just something, you know, I'm like, oh, I'm like, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm not reefed out. I'm just kind of like, <sighs> there's a lot of witches that I did last week and I still have a lot of witches to do. Um, but I wanted to show you something different. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. I pre this little one, the eyeballs are sagging. This is a great thing about pipe cleaners because you can move them. I don't know if I'm gonna do two more sets. That was a creepy. <laughs> so these are my little spiders. See, I didn't I didn't flip these one these up. But you can, you can totally flip those up, make it have a little bit of character. Come on guys, come on. Spiders don't have to be creepy and crawl. Well, I guess they do, but how fun would this be? Like to come in, you know, to give a, a teacher, you know, for all they do or, you know, whomever. Like if you're going to, maybe you have a Halloween party or something. <laughs> bring it <laughs> oh thank you so much Rosemary I appreciate that thank you thank you like I said and you know I've done black and red I've done all black with red eyes um, I've done uh, all the three colors um, but this is the most popular this was last year no angry faces come on now um, this was the most popular color combination. You know, I did all green, I did all purple, and they like the purple and the green. Maybe this year's gonna be different, but absolute a wedding. <laughs> Georgina, you're right, these would be cute on the wedding tables. <laughs> what? How many of these do I have to make? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> They're just fun. They're different and they're easy to do, like I said, if I wasn't yapping and showing you and talking and whatever, it, they take no time to complete. It's just the issue of getting these because um, I have to look online. Maybe Amazon, I didn't look on Amazon. Don't be buying all of them on Amazon so I don't have any. <laughs> Maybe Amazon has the little tinsels. Who knows? But like I said, if you can't find these, take the green ones, um, the evergreen ones from Dollar Tree, spray paint them black. You can do that. I'm not going to lift the camera up because I want to be in between my two cute little spiders. Now remember, don't put anything on top of this. You can build off of it um, if you want. This is a great base for a um, centerpiece. And that's what I'm going to... If you would like to purchase either one, they will be in my Etsy shop. And the big one. This one is um, four inch. No, I'm sorry. God bless America. This one's a four inch. This one is a five inch. And it's just a little bit bigger. It's just wider. It's the same amount of poof. Um... But obviously you can do like the three inch, you can make little teeny tiny ones. That'd be cute. I don't know if I want to make more sets of eyeballs. I think they're cute. Maybe put a red, a little red dot in the middle. Who knows? You do not take as long as my lives. I promise you they don't take as long as my lives. They could be done super quick, but of course I'm teaching. So it just takes a little bit longer. That's all it is, Peg. It's mesh and legs. The bottom, this is a four inch. This is a five, see? And you can put different um, felt. This is purple. This is a four inch, this is a five inch. And then you just put the mesh in. That's it, that's all. Oh, Debbie, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, if you make some, I please, if you have not joined my group, it is a free group. 
Um, it's just there. You have to be nice to each other. I don't want to, no politics, no religion, no nothing like that. We're just uh, crafting, posting, you know, um, if you have questions, if you're not sure about something, um, <laughs> recipes for dinner, for lunch, for breakfast. I didn't even ask you guys what you're going to have for dinner. Um, anything in there. You know, post your pictures in that group. Um, it's Amy Rose Craft Studio Stars. Um, go ahead and request to join. I, you know, try to get the them um, approved ASAP so that way you can get in there. There's a lot of talent in there. Um, I just want more people to post. You know, if you've made um, some of the creations that I showed you, I would love to see them. I would love to see your spin on them and how you made them your own. This tutorial is in, it's going to be in my videos right now. After I am done with this, my lives, I automatically post them. It may take a couple of minutes for it to go through. And I'm not looking at the camera because the light's on. That's why I'm going like this and I don't want to get blind because I get these spots. Um, but you can view them on under my videos on this page, Amy Rose Craft Studio. Um, I will have it. I have YouTube that I will post it. I will upload and post. Um, Danny should be doing that with my videos now. So um, it'll also be on YouTube. I'm hoping by tomorrow. So if you've missed the beginning, um, give it a couple minutes after this live is done. It'll be under my videos. It'll be the very first one because yeah, this is the last one I've done. And um, go from there. All right, guys. Yes, there will be a replay. Absolutely. We are live right now. The replay won't have the red up there. But if you have a question um, when you are um, replaying it, um, ask it in there. I will get the notification and I'll answer you. You're very welcome. Very, very welcome. Absolutely. And if you still have questions, PM me. Um, normally after my lives, I stick my phone on the charger right away because that's going to be at like 19%. <laughs> but I try to get back to you as soon as possible. All right, guys, let me get you off my live so that way you can enjoy the rest of your evening with your families. Thank you so, so much again for joining me. I really, really appreciate it. Um, everybody can craft. Everybody can read. Just try something new. Just try something new. If they're fun, it's really really cute and until next time guys so long farewell avina saying adieu 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 to you and you and you who bum ba da dun 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 ba da dun 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 bye guys Mwah. have a fabulous evening be safe so be kind i already did the song danny <laughs> bye guys much love